Indeed, Nigeria, as have been pointed out earlier, has officially entered into its politicking season with parties restructuring and trying to put their houses in order. Aspirants themselves are hopeful as many party primaries are taking place this week to identify uh, the flag bearers. But the Independence National Electoral Commission has advised political parties to adhere strictly to internal democracy and electoral laws in the conduct of their primaries. Today, the All Progressives Congress is holding her governorship and state houses of assembly primaries across the states and, uh, of course, many parts of Nigeria. Back here in Lagos, TVC News correspondent Sarah Ayoku joins us live now to give us updates about happenings uh, ahead of the primary election. Hello, Sarah. So how are things looking from your end? Hello, Sarah. How are things looking like over there at um, here in Lagos ahead of the primary elections? Hello, Sarah, if you can hear me, uh, what are the things you, you can see over there ahead of the election, the primary election here in Lagos, talking about the APC's uh, primary to nominate flag bearers uh, and uh, representatives over there at the House of Assembly as well? Stadium, and um, we're expecting to see about 1,225 delegates at this venue. So already behind me, you can see some of the delegates from across the various wards in Lagos, across the various local governments, which is like 20 local governments in Lagos. You see the delegates all around there, of course, participating in this process. Although for now the election, the process has not started yet and of course we would like to of course ask um, the committee the chairman of the congress committee of course to tell us why the event has not started yet now this is between three aspirants that's the governor um uh, former uh, commissioner for uh, former commissioner for energy Olawale Oluwo, and also former prime sec abdul ahmed mustafa they are the ones trying to take over the seat of the governor uh, of course competing with the governor for this um, particular process um, I have with me Latif Ibrahobai, he's the chairman for the Congress Committee organizing this event. So he's going to be telling us why this event has not been started yet, because I know that already, sir, we have the governor on speech, of course, to oversee this process and encourage the delegation about um, this process. How well, perhaps I should start by saying that for today we don't have a governor on seat. We have an aspirant. He is there, as you can see, he's on the aspirant seat there. We are expecting the many aspirants, believing that they will have the courage to come and call a you know, uh, uh, vote here. We believe that the only way for us to keep being legal and being the center of excellence is to organize everything that we are involved in in a manner that is devoid of cheating or partiality. So, it is transparency that is our watchword, and that's why we have put up this show so that everyone will see what we have done. As you can see here, the delegates are fully ready, the observers are here, the, the you know security agencies are here, uh, the INEC is here, the INEC officials are here, even our leaders from the national headquarters are here. Everyone is waiting, and everything is transparent. We have a place for to display ballot boxes. We have everything for us to show that this election is not just you know predetermined. It is for whoever convinces the negotiations who have the day. Governor Paradigme Shongwu has done it for since the last three years, and is banking on that. That after all, he has been able to put up something. 
and the Russians love that. That is going to have the day. But we are not working on that. We feel that the Russians have the right to choose. And from the three of them, whoever is chosen.